hello, this is your girl Jay at SKC1, and as I promised, I will be back with another video today. And this video here is to help any young woman, any girl, any young lady, anybody female wise that has been in a relationship <clears throat> and the relationship has ended, and you have thought about either harming yourself, harming others, um, you just don't care about life, um, I'm going to be your voice, um, I'm going to be someone that's going to give you a testimony, experience of what I've been through, um, and I want to go on V103, and that's V103 in Atlanta, because that's where I'm at, I want to go on V103 and share my story, um, because it can get out fast faster on you on three than you could on YouTube. But um I'm here and I'm gonna go into the story. Um I'm not gonna give you the whole story, um because um I don't think I should have to give you the whole story. But I am gonna give you some insight into what had happened to me and What's been going on with me since it had happened? Okay. Um. So here we go. Um. I started dating this gentleman in 2010, I believe. First of all, I lost my job in 2010. Around January, I got a letter in the mail saying they were terminating. Um. And I lost. I just wasn't eligible to get unemployment benefits because they said it was my fault, which I think is stupid. But whatever. So that same year, 2010, August, I started dating this gentleman. Um, and in November, I lost my car. So we're dating, we're in the motions, and we're having a great time. Blah day, blah day. He's telling me um, what I want to hear, and I believe it's, it's what I want to hear. Um, I just don't believe it's something he was going to do, um, but he was like, he was going to marry me. I didn't have to worry about that. He was going to marry me. Um, he came to me. We are sitting on the couch, and he hugged me. He put his arms around me. Um, I want to have my baby. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, I got to do that want to marry me. That want, you know, it's okay if I get pregnant. Oh, cool. We, we cool. So... Um, you know, when I met him, he was about to lose his apartment, he didn't have no car, he didn't have, um, a job, so I was like, you know, this is my man, and, and I believe more women should be like this, um, this is my man, he's having a hard time right now, I'm not going to knock him or break up with him because he doesn't have any, any, you know, any stability like that, he struggles. So, you know, he's looking for a job or whatever. He's using my car, because at that time I still had my car. Um, he was using my car to go back and forth with, which I was cool with, you know. I didn't have a problem with him driving, take the keys, he had license. You know, I wasn't worried about gas. I wasn't worried about, um, Nothing when it came to him, you know, because that's my dude, and it, you know, it's just mine. Okay, it's automatically yours too. That's how I get in a relationship. So I was having, I was having, and still am having the darnest time finding a job, you know, and he wouldn't really give me that support that I needed, you know, because. People know if you're looking for a job, you're already beating yourself up because you can't find a job. You know, if you come home, you have a person that's beating you up for not having a job or doing this, you know, or just doing that. It became, it, it became too much, you know. You want me to look like Holly Berry every day or you want me to look like Beyonce every day, but you don't want to pay for that. That stuff costs money, you know. If you can accept me being natural hair or 
and look in the mirror because I'm not going to be touched all day. You know, if you come home and comfort me to woman or whatever, or you come to your man, they're going to feel like, oh, my man or my woman can attention. So they're going to do more to keep your attention. You know, and I never really got that for him. I like, you know, I like my man say, baby, oh, that's hot. Oh, baby, you look good. So, um, we went through 2011. We had a little road bump in August. Um, I was Skype with one of my friends. And the conversation may have went too far with one of my friends. But, you know, we talked. And that was it. So he got mad about that, you know, and I was like, well, I'm finding photos of women in your phone, but I'm not getting mad at you, you know, I trust you enough. If that's what you want to look at, then that's you, you know, I want to talk to my friend on Skype, then I should have the ability to talk to my friend on Skype. So, November came, November 2011 came, and it was like right before Thanksgiving, and he was like, I need to stop you. And I was at this, I was at the point then where he could have he could have broke up with me then and I wouldn't care. Um, he asked me if I still want to marry him, and I still I still love him, you know. And I gave him both yes for that. So I'm thinking in November that we're gonna work on us and we're gonna move forward with our relationship. Well, we kind of did. We went through Christmas. We went through. January, February, I was supposed to give away my dog, um, and I didn't want, that's something I didn't want to do, but I did, because I was, I was at the point where I said, well, maybe it's me, I'm going to start compromising, um, he wanted me to leave T-Mobile, which I really didn't want to do, um, but my T-Mobile bill was just so high that I couldn't afford it. And he didn't want to pay the T-Mobile bill for me because it was it was hot. Um, and I found out later on about a company, and I didn't have to go to Metro because that was my biggest thing. I didn't want to go to Metro. Um, and my bill is now cheaper than his. My bill is thirty-one dollars now. So I was making changes to prepare myself. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's this. So I got rid of my dog. Um, I still tried to look for a job. Um, I started cleaning up the house more because again, maybe it's me. Um, then he just started doing notable things like not, not being there at night time, uh, going out without me, not telling me where he was going or not telling me he'll be back. Tell me he'll be back and don't come back. Staying gone three days, you know, and it got to the point where I was like, are you serious? I think that was just really disrespectful. You know, if you're going to cheat, stay with the person you're with. Don't come back to the house that you share with me or whoever um, to get clothes, to brush your teeth, to wash your butt. Do all that down at their house. Um, so, um, it came out in round, everything came out March 11th uh, for me that he been seeing another woman. They've been talking around no since November. They used to work together. They went to a fashion game together. Um and that's basically when everything just started coming out. Um and it got worse for me because I was left in the apartment we once shared. Um he playing both sides of the fence. He wanted to be there with me, he wanted to be there with her. Um and as, after a while, it became too much. I did some things to myself that I shouldn't have. Um, that's where I'm coming in and telling young ladies now. Um, I don't, don't do it. Um, even though some days it's hard on me. Um, I try to fight through it. I still don't have a job. Uh, not, and not by choice. I don't, you know, I don't want to heal, you know, well. You know, it's, it's not 1995 where you can just leave one job and go to another one. It's, it's hard out here, you know. I've been applying for little stuff like McDonald's and everything, so it's hard out here. So I just, you know, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. Some things I'm not comfortable with. Some things my feminine is not comfortable with. Um, 
me doing to make money. Uh, so I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm uncomfortable and then my family's uncomfortable or I run into somebody I meet I where I know in you know wherever. So I want to tell you that if you're ever in this situation like I was, um, and then I I lost the apartment. I I had you know I'm standing back and forth here and there, um, and I'm very uncomfortable because I don't have that that move round room that I need. You know, um, I was going to my homegirl house, but things got kind of intense where I decided I'm not going there anymore. Um, so if you ever find yourself in this situation, um, talk to someone. Um, and even though he has moved on with his life, he he's getting his. He's getting his. Um, and just things, you know, I want to be there for him, you know, but I I can't be there for him when he's making dumb decisions, dumb dumb decisions, you know. Um, I had I used to model before I met him. I didn't do any modeling while I was with him, you know, because certain things. If I was going like I was doing a free play. At, I was going to be in a play and I was not getting paid for it. Well, you have to start somewhere. You know, if I'm ever going to get into acting full time and where I become a household name, if I'm ever going to get to a modeling where I can become a household name, I have to maybe do some things for free before I can get paid. I was cool with that. But when you have a, a spouse or, or, or a boyfriend or girlfriend and they're telling you you shouldn't do that, Oh no! Why are you doing that? That ain't that ain't hot. Then it it, it breaks your self confidence. So I want to get back into my own. I want to start acting. You know, I want to take acting classes. You know, when I say I am I am dead broke, I can't even pay the little thirty one dollars on my cell phone bill. I am I am that broke. I you know I went to I left for a truck school Sunday. And I ended up turning around because it got missing when I got a Nashville. But I couldn't even pay the seventy five dollars for my license down there. I couldn't even carry money down there with me to eat or anything like that because I'm I'm that I'm that broke. You know, um you want to you want to have money, it's like, you know, and I, I don't, you know, I applied for a job with, you know, Tyler Perry, you know. At the studio, and I didn't hear anything back. Uh, you know, I have a, um, I have a, a tattoo here. Um, I applied for a police officer, and because I applied for a police officer with a tattoo, I couldn't get the job. Um, I'm very good at 911 dispatch, but they want you to do this, this, this before you get a job. You know, test, 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 and my mind was not good with that test, so I want to go a different way. I want to get into acting. I want to get put back into modeling. You know, I have dreams of this and that, but I have to have a platform to start. So, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're just at the bottom of the barrel, like I am, and each day you get up and it's a, it's a, a physical, mental strain to just get up, just keep getting up because I know that something good, good is coming for me. You know, I know that my my husband is out there and he's gonna treat me like a queen. He's gonna spoil me. And what I mean by that is he doesn't have to spoil me financially. He's gonna spoil me with, with little stuff in the house. You know, he's gonna spoil me maybe with a car or he's gonna be at work. Hey baby, um, what are you doing? Because we have lunch. So he's gonna he's gonna know me so well that he's gonna know what I like. When you know your man or know your woman, you'll do anything to keep them get mouth closed. Because as a woman, we're already on defense. We already have a mouth. We're not going to sit there. A lot of women, I know I'm not going to let you talk, let me talk about any time. We're going to say something. We're going to defend out there. So, you know, he's going to understand that I have PCOS. I want another child. He's going to understand I have PCOS. He's not going to be beating up on me because I have PCL. He's going to work things out, you know. Who knows, you know, um, I may get lucky and get me a great man like Cor or get me a great man like Tia. 
or, you know, just a, a man who knows, you know, and it doesn't have to be all about the money, you know, I even hear Jay-Z is a great man, I'm going to find that guy for me that's going to be able to encourage, we're going to be able to encourage each other together. If he wants to go bungee jump, I'm going to be right there by his side for him to bungee jump. He's going to understand that I have a child, and you're not her biological father. He's not going to be trying to beat up on her or anything. He's going to be there and communicate with my child, communicate with me, and we're going to be a family. That may be a lot to ask for, but I know my worth, and I'm worth all that, you know. Um, so, um, I just want the young ladies to know that it's really not that bad. Uh, don't do anything to yourself. I, I have proof of things I have done to myself to remind me. Um, I, I can't say. I don't, I wouldn't. I, well, I can't say. The question that has been asked to me, and I'm going to ask it to you all, if your ex come back and want you back, would you get back with him? Or would you get back with her? Because I know some of them are going to come across as well. Um, someone also told me if you have room to think about it, then that's a possible, possible yes. And we're not going to go into that with me. I can't answer that. Um, so, um, if you have any questions, I have... Um, a video before this and I think I go maybe two and two behind this where I go into a little bit more detail of what happened. Um I tell you a little bit more about the team the lion um that he did. Um and it's funny because everybody thought I was gonna cheat on him. Um and I tell people this all the time. My past has nothing to do with now. When I was 15, I think all the way up to my, to about 19, right at 20, I had fun. I wasn't trying to settle down. I wasn't trying to get married. Nothing. I was having fun. Once I got with my little girl's father, well, once I got with my baby daddy, I came down a whole bunch. I was committed to him and him only. Um, I slipped out the box one time, he forgave me, we got back together, and we stayed together until I decided that I no longer want to get in the relationship with him. Um, so, a lot of folks are now at the point of their life where they just want to have fun. They're, they're 42, <laughs> they're, they're 30, on up, and they want to be 19. I did that all I'm at the point in my life where I want to get get to the point where I find my guy and he wants to commit to me and my daughter. He's not nagging if I want to go see my girl or my girls want to come over. He's not nagging that I don't have a job because my daughter is a job herself. Cooking, everything, the, the, the learning how to cook better. I want to try different things. I'm not a chef, but I want to try different things. My ex brought that out in me. The wanting to have the house clean and everything. He brought that out of me because he liked it and I felt appreciated. When I used to do it for my baby daddy, he didn't he didn't appreciate that. And it made me it made me close that chapter in my life. Um the wanting to the wanting to be cute my ex before this ex brought that out. The one to be fly every day, the one to be like I was going to an interview every day or something, I was going to a cat car every day. He brought that out of me. He brought that out of me because I used to be one of those females that stayed in the shop every two weeks. Nails, clothes every two weeks. You know, but all that costs money and if you have a man giving you the money for it, you know, then of course you're gonna get accustomed to it. But you know, when you find someone that doesn't when you give you the money for it, then you have to be like, well, don't complain about me looking at this and you don't want to help me to fix myself up. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's, it's just a lot. You don't, you don't want to be stressed, you know, 
you know, my ex wants to be best friends, and I don't understand why we have to be best friends. You know, you left the situation with me. You left me. You left everything that we had built for this, and you want us to be friends. I don't understand that. So, I just want you all to know that it is okay. Everything is going to work out. Um, I don't have an agent, and I believe I need one because I've been doing my modeling stuff for so long by myself. Um, and I haven't really accomplished anything. I've been modeling off and on since maybe about maybe about ten years on and off. And I'm I'm supposed to be further than what I am. And I. I don't have the money to go to um acting school. Um I was going to I was going to do acting school with Miss Chantel Christopher. Um and I don't have the money to go to her like I want to. So um I haven't been able to attend. I really, I don't have a way there for one. Um I don't have a car. I don't have bus fare. Um, if it's not in walking distance, I can't get to it because I'm, I'm trapped. Um, it's just, it's, it's really a mess. I never really saw my life in this, this low. And I really can't, really can't say that much. Um, 2012 is just a year I want to forget. And somebody else may be somebody else. You want to forget. Start first at a clean slate. Um, so, you all, I don't want to ramble because I feel like I'm yelling, but you all are out there. You want to talk, communicate. You want to know anything that I didn't say in the two videos, this one, and I think the other one was Love Is Not Enough. Um, if you want to do any of that, then go ahead and leave me a message. I kept my message pretty, pretty frequently. So if you want that, um, you can just whatever, um, and we'll talk more. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.